I've just seen a face, I can't forget the time or place When we just met, she's just a girl for me And I want all the world to see her face Light, 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 light. Falling, yes I'm falling And she keeps calling me back again Hey there friends, how's it going? David Potts here with Song Notes, and today I'm gonna to show you how to play the Beatles song, I've Just Seen a Face, from their album Help. So this is gonna be a no capo version. Uh, normally you would need a capo in the second fret using the chords I'm gonna show you here, and you can play along with the Beatles. And let me say off the top that you can get the chord sheet that I have for this lesson at my website, playsongnotes.com. Uh, it's many pages, here's the first page, which gives you everything you need to know for the lyrics, the chords, the strumming, an abbreviated version of the intro. And I have some other pages as well that break down the the strumming and uh, the intro riff in great detail. And as far as the intro riff goes, I have a separate lesson just for that. So if you want to learn that, that's a pretty beefy lesson. It breaks it down nice and slow. But with this one, it's just going to be the verse, the chorus, the strumming. I'm going to show you an easy way to strum if you just want to be real casual about it, or I'll show you something a bit more fast and hectic and closer to what the Beatles are actually playing. Um, there's some cool bass note walk down transition stuff I'm going to talk about. So stick around if you want to learn all that. But with that said, Everyone, let's get to the lesson. And remember, just play song notes is where you can find all this stuff, but let's get to it. So, uh, starting with the verse and chorus. So the first thing we're gonna wanna talk about is just the chords we're gonna need, right? So at the very simplest, um, we're gonna be in the key of G and we're gonna need four chords. We're gonna need a G chord, okay? An E minor chord. And you are going from the G down to the E minor. And notice when I play it like this, my middle finger is staying still and I'm just able to sort of, um, you know, move the other finger, the ring finger next to it. I do my E minor, then I do my C major chord, then it's five strings and a D major chord, okay? So these are very standard chords. They're all open chords, no bar chords involved here. So this is, makes this a great beginner song, okay? Now let's look at the, um, the chord progressions, okay? And I'm gonna talk about strumming just afterwards, but um, when we look at the chord progressions, this is what we need for the verse and the chorus. And the idea is that there's gonna be four beats per measure. And each little subdivision here you see in these sections is a measure. So when you see G and four Gs in a row there, that means four measures of G. So if we were to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna start doing this with my right hand, right? This is our beat, okay, our tempo. The actual song is played at about 122 beats per minute if you have a metronome. I recommend slowing it down when you're learning it because this is a really fast song, but you need to slow down when you're starting off to keep all the keep your brain from having to do too much too fast, right? So if we go through the chord progressions and we just do those down strums, right? Down, 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 down. What I'm gonna do is sort of give a little bit of an emphasis, and this is the, the sort of simple strum I like to teach with this song, is basically do all down strums, but on the one and the three counts, just do the bass note, right? Or the bass couple notes, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? And you can do that for all the chords. You don't have to be too exact. If you use the pick, it might sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So this is the simple strum, right? Later on, I'm going to show you this more advanced strum. Down, down. Up, down, up, down, down. Up, down, up, down, down. Up, down, up, down, down. And on that one, the one count is going to get the bass note only. But enough of the strumming patterns for a second. Let's look at these progressions here. And if we were to go through the, the verse progression slowly with the basic strumming pattern, it would be like this, right? So starting with the first G. One, two, three, four. 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 E minor. E minor. Three, four. E minor. Two, three, four. E minor. Two, three, four. C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. That same exact progression with the words would be, I've just seen a face, I can't forget the time or place that we just met. She's just a girl for me and I want all the world to see her face. La, da, Okay, a little bit of a mess up there on the C, but you get the idea, right? Now, the 
chorus strumming, uh, the chorus progression is going to be two measures of D, right? Fall in D two three four C two three four two measures of C, then one measure of G, one measure of C, and then two measures of G, right? Fall in, yes I am falling, and she keeps calling me back again. Okay, so that's uh, the chord progressions, and that's the simple strum. But again, if you want to be more advanced, you want to use a down, down, up, down, up, 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 one, two, and four, and one, two, and four, and one, two. And on that one count, just get the bass note of whatever chord you're playing, right, if you can. So that would sound like this. It's a bit faster. One, two, one, two, and four, and one, two, and four, and one, two. So that's very fast, and uh, it's definitely something I recommend working your way up to. Use that slow, that initial pattern slowly to get going, um, and then sort of work your way up if you want to go up at all, right? You don't have to necessarily play this like the Beatles do. You could do a slower version. But now that we have the basics, um, I want to talk a little bit about some of these walk downs that make this song so fun to play, in my opinion. So if we look at the verse, there's a couple opportunities where we can transition chords, and we can do a walk down to the bass note, like here. Right, to the E minor, and another one right here, from the E minor to the C. And then here. Okay, so you see the tab here, and what I recommend doing is using this simple strum, right? Bass down, bass down, bass down, bass down, bass down, bass down. So that first one is gonna be going from a G Right, on the low E string, we're going from third fret to second fret to open, right? And for the first two of those bass notes, we're gonna sort of strum the thinnest strings as if we're still on the G chord. But once we get to the E minor, then we do the E minor strums, right? And when you do that walk down, with the fifth string here, I'm sort of muting it, I'm not pressing it down. I'm pressing the sixth string, for this F sharp note, I'm, I'm muting the fifth string just by touching it with my, ring, my middle finger here and then strumming the thinnest four strings as my main strum. So uh, the next walk down is going on the E minor. What we're gonna do is walk down on the fourth string, second fret, open, and then the C root note, right? So, whoops, I messed that up. Fourth string, second fret, strum the E minor. Fourth string, open, strum the E minor, thinnest strings, and then fifth string, third fret. Then you strum the C. Okay, so E minor. Here it comes. Then we go to the C. And the C, we're gonna walk down on the fifth string. This is a B, the note. And this is a C, so we're going from the C to the B, right? Third fret to second fret. And keep your other, your middle finger, or I'm sorry, your index finger where it is. And use your middle finger to play that second fret on the G, on the C over B, right? And then um, go to the D, fourth string open for the D, and then fifth fret, fifth string open for the, so. Right? Fifth string, third fret, fifth string, second fret, fourth string open, fifth string open, sixth string, third fret. Okay, so here's the whole thing with the walk downs. Easy strum. I'll do the hard strum next. Dial it up with a harder strum, it sounds like this. So on the 
those faster walk down um, bass notes. I'm doing it down up, down up in between the bass notes. So that's how you do the um, fun verse bass note walk downs, right? And the last thing uh, I want to show you here is going to be the instrumental verse you hear in the actual song. I think it's a guitar when it's going like Here's how to play that with just a guitar. It sounded like this. That's just if you play the melody notes of that lead, but what you can do is combine that with your strumming, and it sounds a bit dirtier, or maybe not as clean or polished, but it, it captures that full band sound. So here's what that sounds like. Again, kind of sloppy, right? But uh, it's a fun little thing to fudge your way around, and it just sounds like you're playing the uh, all the Beatles in your own guitar, in your one guitar, right? So that's how you do that part. It's all in the PDF. Get my tabs at the website, playsongnotes.com. The last thing I want to show you here is this: the intro, as I have it tabbed out on my one note, one my one pager here. The first page of my song notes, I like to include everything you need to know if you were to play this song live, like at a coffee shop or something, right? You basically get the, the um. Uh, the, the tab for the intro, the verse, the chorus, the strumming. So this tab for the intro is not a complete tab, but what it does do is show you the chords you'll need, right? Because the, the intro sounds like this. Right? I've just seen a face, ba 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 ba. So uh, there's about nine or so chord shapes there. The whole idea, though, is for each chord shape, you use the exact string picking pattern. It's all third string, first string, third string, first string, third string, first string. You do that on every one of these chords. So what I'm showing you is the chord shapes. The first one is open, open. Then it's fourth and third fret on the third and first string. Then it's nine and seven. Then it's 12 and 12. So for each of these, I'm doing the same pattern. So again, you just learn these chord shapes, you do the pattern, and you'll be in good shape. But again, I have a whole lesson just on this. It walks you through it. It walks you through the fingering and all that stuff. So check that out. But here it is. Just want to show you that little guide, right? I've just seen the face. I can't forget the time or place when we just met. All right, so there we have it. I've just seen a face by the Beatles. Please let me know what other Beatles songs you want to hear lessons for. I already have a few on my website, but there's going to be more coming because they're obviously one of the best bands ever and fun to play on guitar. So that's going to be it from me. Check out my stuff, playsongnotes.com. But thanks to all of you who have watched this far. Thanks to those of you who are supporting me on my website and through Patreon and through the tip jar and through kind emails and comments. It really means so much to me. So I'm going to take off, my friends. Have a great one wherever you are. Bye-bye.